Do you miss me at all? Do you think about the things we used to do? No, you couldn't stand tall So why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years has gone by But I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all But why didn't you, why didn't you call? Hey there and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a really beautiful spring tablescape that's super whimsical. It reminds me of just picking flowers through a meadow. So definitely stick around for that. And then I'm also gonna just be doing a little refresh in our front room to get ready for spring. Starting next week, I'll be cutting all the film for our Easter decor. So definitely stick around. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. I am really new to YouTube and I would love to grow my channel and I would just absolutely love it if you would join me on this journey. And don't forget to hit the notification bell because I don't always post on a set schedule, but I try to get one or two videos up a week that are really all about decor, cooking and cleaning, organizing, and really all things home. So if you're returning, it's so good to see you and let's get into this video. So before we get started on the tablescape, which I cannot even tell you, I can already smell all the flowers sitting in the other room waiting to be put on the tablescape. But before we get started on that, I wanted to just do a really quick refresh in the front room and just kind of get things opened up. We live in Northern California and it is warm right now. Like this particular day, I think it was 80 degrees outside. And I just feel like our house got really closed off during Christmas and I'm still trying to remove like most of the darkness and really bring in some bright colors and whites and nice, you know, beautiful linens and things like that. But I am gonna be doing some very drastic changes in the living room coming up soon. So I just wanted to remind you guys, if you haven't already, definitely subscribe to my channel. I am new on YouTube and I would love, love to grow this channel this year. So definitely subscribe and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I have all the um, kind of back end of my YouTube channel I usually share on there. So if you're seeing it here, you probably saw it there first. So definitely go to Mrs. Lauren Nicholson and check that out. I removed that big black lamp. It's just, it's so beautiful out right now. And I just feel like this room needs to be opened up. And then I added, I needed some storage for these. So I added these two bins I picked up from um, Hobby Lobby. I just think they add such a really cute touch. I wanted something looking a little antique -y. And then, hi kitten. You're so cute. Yes, you are. Oh. Kittens are getting so big. And then I added these two new pillows I also got from Hobby Lobby. And then, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that um, fiddle leaf plant. I may move it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that yet. And just keep this area nice and clean. And then I took those two chairs out. They've seen their best days. And then I just moved that one little cocktail table over here. I think that turned out really nice. Then I moved one more of these Hobby Lobby uh, pillows here. And then up here, I'm just gonna leave all of this for right now, even though it's just like a lot of stuff, but I'm just gonna leave it there for now because I don't have, I don't know exactly what I wanna do there. Hi, little kitten. Hi. What you doing? Huh? Just being cute? Yeah? You wanna play? Oh, you're looking to play. Oh, you're so cute. Hi. Hi. These kittens are so soft. Like when they bite, they barely use their, they don't use their jaws. Not like our last set of foster kittens were crazy. Okay, so now we have moved the blue chairs in here and then my husband found this side table here and then you guys saw in our bat our bedroom where i moved i got that just simple vanity um that used to be the vanity so it's sitting there we are going to spray paint all the mirrors that are going to go there but i wanted to show you what we're going to do for our centerpiece today I, I guess you could call this like a mini haul but in here i just got a ton of really beautiful whimsical i want this tablescape to kind of have the vibe of like a um, like a meadow, like a spring meadow. So lots of fun, whimsical, all glass. 
I'm using all glass um, canister or bases. I have a ton of them in here. I got this at Hobby Lobby today. These are just adorable. I tried to find more of these, so I have to go online and figure out where I can get more of these from the spring shop because those are, I've been looking for something like this for a long time and I'll need that for my Easter tablescape. And then these are just picks from Michael's. And then I found they had a really good sale on all of their napkin rings. So I got these and these, and then I got some Easter ones that I already took down to my Easter stuff. And then I found these in the wedding section. I just thought these were so cute. I found them um, for $2.99 and they were 50% off. So they're just little grapevine, little floral, I guess they're like rattan baskets. But anyway, I'm thinking I might stuff these in there in front of each, each placemat, which I'm gonna be using these blue uh, and white placemats for today's tablescape. And then I've been using my crates to kind of um, elevate things, but then I found these and they were really inexpensive. They're little plant stands for $12.99, but they were 50% off. And I think what I'm gonna do is actually put plants up here and then down below and kind of keep keep it very whimsical. Oh, watch out little cutie. Oh no, oh no. Oh, and then this is for the new bathrooms upstairs. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like a matte black with a gold um, little lattice detail. And I just thought this was perfect for that room. I got three of these. We usually have one that's like, it's gold, but it's pretty boring. I thought that would be kind of fun um, to put in the bathrooms. And then what else did we grab today? I'm just gonna, and these are, I've had forever. These are from um, Walmart in the wedding section as well. You can find some great stuff in the wedding section pretty much anywhere. And because most people have to buy bulk, it's usually inexpensive. And then I'm gonna be using these plates for today. I thought they would go well with the yellow and pinks that I picked out. I don't know if y'all can see that. And I think those will go nicely. And then just a simple um, kind of scalloped edge charger. And then I'm gonna probably just add some nice flowers over there or keep that simple and just keep things pretty low key today. All right, let's get started. What do you think, kitten? Should we get started? Huh? So to get started on this tablescape, the centerpiece is gonna be a bunch of different glasses. I have all kinds of different sizes and shapes. You can really find these anywhere, um, but I'm gonna be using them from all over the place. And I wanna do where in the middle, I'm gonna actually put some growing plants. I have some really beautiful um, uh, daffodils that I picked up from Trader Joe's. You guys probably saw these on my front porch as well, but they're only $2.99 and I just think they're so awesome. So the idea is that I will have all the beautiful flowers in the jars that are really beautiful and whimsical and then coming up from the bottom will be real growing flowers. So as the greenery starts to kind of fade and the flowers start to drop, these new flowers should be pushing up and through. So I'm also going to kind of make these very uh, different heights and varying colors so that it's really, really does look like a mixed meadow. And then the other interesting thing I would say is if you're going to do this, don't fill the water up until you kind of know where everything's going to go, just so you're not wasting a ton of water, but then use a little box. You can put them all in there, fill them all up, and then just add them back to the table. Um, I'm going to be adding one color at a time so you guys can kind of see how I actually layer everything on this, but it is going to be so beautiful. I can't wait. So I picked up all of these flowers also at Trader Joe's. I love these. They're just like little picks that are about $2.99 per bundle. And I, you can find them in any color. I found them in purple, yellow. I love these like little Southern bells. 
I just think these are so pretty. I found the ones that have pink and yellow in them and just find the colors that you love. Baby's Breath is always an awesome, awesome flower to um, create a very whimsical uh, feel that's very dainty and feminine. But I'm gonna be using these and then I also got some tulips for the kitchen. I'll show you those and some willow branches for the front room, which we'll do at the end of this video. So to get started, I'm just gonna be adding, starting with white and then I'll be adding yellow and purple and pink just to kind of create the base. So as you will look through this, every single one of these is gonna be cut for every single jar so that it's not, it creates more of an authentic whimsical effect. to know in the comments down below what your favorite spring flowers are I love these ones only because they all smell so good like honey but I also need to maybe today or tomorrow take a drive up valley and show you guys all the mustard flowers that are popping all over our town right now it's so beautiful it makes the whole town smell like sweet honey but um, I love these little pigs but tell me in the comments down below what your favorite spring flower is and I also love in Easter when we get the lilies um, to celebrate Easter and I just love the smell of lilies as well but tell me in the comments down below what is your favorite spring flower start to add this beautiful pink flower that you start to really see how the layers come together between the white and the yellow and the pink and the purple and I just think that it really starts to show the depth of these flowers I did find that it was a little hard to photograph because these flowers are so tiny um, but I really am loving the way this is coming together Add some thicker flowers in the midsection as you can see there's kind of nothing going on there but um, I'm gonna add those and then we'll add our potted plants well I guess they're not really potted but our real growing plants in the middle I think I have freesias I don't remember which ones I ended up going with but I have those and then these daffodils you can see in the middle they're just green stems now but they do they do end up um, uh, kind of blossoming about a week later. So I love how these turned out. I will put a picture on my Instagram so you can see all the beautiful flowers. They all exploded at the same time. So it turned out like, and it was so beautiful. Hey, I've been dreaming about you. 
Every night I see your clearest day It's just something about the way you make me feel Cause I can't concentrate anytime you're beside me So as you can see, the sun is setting and I need to get the table set for dinner tonight. I have an awesome new recipe coming out for you guys, a tortilla soup. It's actually a kale and chicken tortilla soup and it's so, so good. Um, I'm going to be, hopefully I'll add it maybe this week. I just love how this tablescape turned out. It looks so beautiful. It looks like the most beautiful meadow and we just walked through it and picked all these beautiful flowers, but I just, I can't tell you how happy I am about how this turned out. I've never done this, but I was kind of having it in the back of my mind how pretty these would look. Usually they're filler flower, so that's why they're so inexpensive at Trader Joe's, but it turned out so beautiful and they stand so tall on their own. And I also love these real flowers pushing through. I just think it's just a beautiful, beautiful, uh, centerpiece. Tell me in the comments down below what you think and how you think it turned out. And I'm going to head into the kitchen and put a couple more flowers around the house before we call it a day. decided to go with these willow branches only because um, they really match well with the wood in this room and they're also like equally whimsical but they also don't bud so we won't get any flowers off of those but I hope you guys enjoyed this video please definitely hit the subscribe button if you're new and please come and join me on Instagram I love all the DMs from you guys and sharing all the beautiful things that you do at your house it is probably the easiest way to connect with me so definitely go to Mrs. Lauren Nicholson on on Instagram and don't forget to subscribe. I cannot wait to share so much Easter inspiration with you guys coming soon. Until then, bye. What you do to me.